mean, this is why we all came to UConn. In a gritty top 25 matchup, an electric crowd and a hurly ejection proved that the UConn Villanova rematch would not disappoint. Opening the field for best team in the Big East, the Huskies secure an influential win, showing that UConn basketball is back. If the first possession alley-oop didn't say enough, the intensity could be felt as soon as you step foot in the building. After a phenomenal start, UConn head coach Dan Hurley received back-to-back -back technical fouls, forcing him to leave the game just 16 minutes into the first half. They tried to cut the hell of a snake off, you know, uh, but we didn't allow that to sway us. Once coach went out, it was just like, okay, now you have to win this game for him. I mean, not just for him, but I mean, the team as a whole. Associate head coach Kamani Young took the reins as the Huskies locked in, fueling a run highlighted by points in the paint. You know, I felt ready. Our, our, our players were ready. We knew what was at stake, and, and you know, we performed. Adama Sinogo added to his campaign for best big man in the conference, commanding both ends early, but the Villanova three ball was out in full force, keeping it close as the two teams went point for point to the last minute of play. Two Sinogo fouls and the Wildcats' near-perfect pedigree from the charity stripes saw Villanova extend their lead late. But Tyler Pauly answered the call with a clutch three. 17 seconds to go, UConn fought for the jump ball and gained possession. And RJ Cole would seal the deal, dishing in a floater that erupted the home crowd and followed up with a charge against Colin Gillespie. And RJ has been, <clears throat> you know, as important player as we've had here in a long time. That's a winning play. You know, that play wins the game for you. We, we want this more than anything, and we're just going to continue to keep grinding it out. Students stormed the court as UConn won 71-69. The crowd nearly exploded off the XL Center as coaches and players commented on the experience. And that's what college sports is about. I think for all those guys to have that kind of memory is going to be something that they that they remember forever. Yeah, we love these guys. I mean, we're tough on them, we're demanding, but like you built such a close bond together with these guys. I mean, they deserve that moment. You know, this is where we're at in year four, and uh, you know, it's only going to get bigger and better from here. The atmosphere felt like tournament season in here today. The Huskies look to capitalize on their momentum in their last three games, first heading to Georgetown on Sunday. From the XL Center, I'm Julia Gintoff, UCTV Sports.